teleprompter create videos you're proud of. Easily trim your video by selecting the words where you want to start and end. Color your presentation with automatic subtitles and highlighting keywords. Add your brand logo. Add music for an emotional touch. Add your contact info on an animated business card on all your videos. Easily replace green screen with an image or a video loop. Stand out with a web page with your logo, your video at the center, and personalized button for visitors to interact. It's one tap to simultaneously upload your videos on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Always know what to say next with the Big View teleprompter. Welcome, welcome, everybody. If you have ever asked yourself, how do I use a teleprompter? You are in the right place. Today's workshop will help you increase your confidence and reduce filming time using Big View's desktop teleprompter. I'm your host today, Cheryl Tan, and I'm really, really thrilled that you're joining us. Where are you joining us from? I'm in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Let me know where you are in the comments. Dr. Peggy is already here from Minnesota. Welcome, Dr. Peggy. And since we're talking about teleprompters today, while you're also telling me where you're from, let me know what do you love about the Big View teleprompter? Let me know what you're thinking as far as how um, how you use the teleprompter, what you love about it. We've got Notary Gateway from Michigan. RS is from Noman, Oklahoma. Very cool. Welcome. Great to have you here. Our guest today is LaShonda Brown. She is an award-winning tech educator based in the beautiful Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia with over a decade of experience as a corporate film producer. Through her YouTube channel, Bootstrap Biz Advice, and her workshops, LaShonda teaches service providers how to work less and live more by leveraging technology and YouTube. LaShonda believes there is no shame in bootstrapping and her live streams and tutorials will help you keep your expenses low and your profit margin high while you DIY. I absolutely love that. Um, oh, Norman, uh, sorry. RS is from Norman, <laughs> Oklahoma. So wonderful. Welcome, welcome. What you may not realize is that most of your favorite content creators are leveraging a teleprompter to organize their thoughts and stay on topic. In this workshop, LaShonda is going to share tips to help you appear more confident while reading a teleprompter, along with hacks for shortening the time it takes to film. So I'm excited for this workshop. I know you are as well. Let me share with you the format of today's workshop. LaShonda will be sharing her insights and I'll be here to make sure your questions are answered. If you have a question for her, please type a Q in the comments and then share your question. As for me, I work with coaches, consultants, and corporate executives to help them show up with more confidence on camera, with or without a teleprompter. Whether your goal is to be a confident public speaker, a confident video creator, or a better presenter for your team, I can help you. Stay with us until the very end because LaShonda has a really great giveaway that you don't want to miss. LaShonda, it is great to have you join us today. Welcome, welcome. Thanks so much for having me. Hello, everyone. It's so good to talk with you. And I love talking about the tool, the Big View tool, and how you can use its teleprompter to create content faster, easier, better. I want to start just by getting a bit of your background. Tell us more about what you did <laughs> before you became a YouTube creator. Yeah, so my background is actually theater. So I started out performing on stages and ended up going all the way through college doing theater. And so um, at the very end of my time in college, I decided to help launch a video production company with my husband. And so that's when we started to combine our skill sets of storytelling to be able to leverage technology to help people to tell their stories online. So we started with like TV commercials and that evolved into online based video going on uh, social media platforms to help people to tell their story through short form content and long form content on platforms like Vimeo or YouTube. So that's kind of a, a me in a nutshell. Um, I, I got here because I really had a passion for storytelling through video. And so, um, yeah, that's what I do and how I got here. 
What a fun time to be in video creation mode though, right? I mean, to have all the tools you have at your disposal, you have so many creatives coming together in all the spaces, wherever you live. I know you live out in Virginia, just like I do, but it's such a fun time to be a creator. And I think that we're bringing together through these workshops, people who have the same passion. Yeah. And I think it's interesting that a lot of people that maybe you wouldn't have heard of otherwise, you're finding out because of the internet, because different platforms allow people to show up and, and share their stories in a very compelling way. So I think that, you know, a lot of people don't grow up being filmmakers, you know, and knowing exactly how to navigate that. Um, but tech tools make it easier for people to be able to enter that world and, and to really start thinking about how can I increase my confidence on camera? How can I, you know, tell my story without stumbling over my words or um, without feeling like, you know, I don't know what next word to say. And so I think it's kind of fun to see how things have evolved over time and different tools that have popped up to help us with that. So let's talk about the teleprompter itself. People you may not realize are using a teleprompter, are using a teleprompter. And I'd love to hear more about that. As you work with creators all the time, the goal of using a teleprompter is, of course, to not look like you're reading and using it. Right. So talk to us about how we may not realize that more people are using one than really are, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, it makes total sense. I think a lot of people don't realize that the reason why people are coming across so compelling on camera is because they've been able to prepare prior to being on camera. Um, it really helps people to feel that sense of ease and confidence, knowing that they know uh, what's coming next. And so I think that's a common question that people have is like, okay, if I'm going to show my face, if I'm going to put myself out there, how can I make sure that I don't get lost in my thoughts? And so that's a little trick of the trade that a lot of us are leveraging even if it's as simple as just simply putting bullet points there just to help you to have that framework of where am I trying to go? You know, how am I going to, to land this plane? And so I think that teleprompters are a very simple tool to help people to make sure that what they're trying to say gets communicated with clarity. We want to make sure that people understand our heart. They understand you know, where we're trying to go in that story or make sure that we hit the high points. And so, um, yeah, teleprompters are a trick that a lot of us are using. And so it's it's something that is becoming uh, more well known. The secret's kind of out. And so I think Big View is is one that a lot of us are, are taking advantage of to try to help make the process of content creation go faster and go more smoothly. Yep. I think too, with our attention spans just getting shorter and shorter, we know that if we have the mic, if we have the opportunity to get a video in front of somebody, we want to get to the point quickly and, and not ramble our way <laughs> around the point. And a teleprompter with talking points or with a full on script can help you make that point a lot quicker. But you mentioned Big View. So let's talk about what you love about Big View and the teleprompter it offers, because it offers it not only on your desktop, but there's also an app that you can have on your phone. So would you please walk us through the how you use the Big View teleprompter? Yeah, so I think Big View for me is that place that I go to when I'm trying to create like content on the go, right? You can't mm -hmm. always, you know, take a very formal teleprompter with you when you are <laughs> going on location or you're, you know, you're speaking, you know, maybe in a train station, you've got your earbuds and, you know, trying to get things done. And so I think what's so great about this tool is you're able to take it wherever you need to go. You know, if you've got internet access, you can take your scripts on the go to help you to feel more comfortable and confident on camera. So I use Big View, especially when I'm trying to communicate a specific thought for an ad or um, to tell a story in a certain amount of time. I think that's another thing that we don't take into account is that 
the big view timer helps you to see like, okay, are you running out of time? Do we need to be shorter? You know, is there a way that we can condense things? And so I think that it's a great tool to utilize if you have to say something specific in a certain amount of time and you want to make sure that you know you're not stressing about what comes next so that's mm -hmm. kind of how i use it i use it when people need me to say something specific and i want to hit those high points or if i want to land the plane in a certain amount of time great i know you wanted to show us behind the scenes a little bit or do you want to wait to do that to show how you use the desktop app yeah, I can go ahead and show that to you guys. And I, I will say too that um, this is something that is is currently open to anyone who wants to use it. But if you want to do read and record, that's something that you would have to progress up the ladder to be able to do. So mm -hmm. I can go ahead and share my screen and show you guys that. Do you want to see what it looks like when you're recording? Yeah, let's do it all because Len, let's tell you know what, while we have you here, let's yeah. talk about your process. So let's say you are being asked to put together a two minute video. What is your process? If you have decided already that instead of just speaking into your phone or speaking into um, a camera in your studio, you're going to use some sort of teleprompter. What is your process for mapping that out and getting that to the end? Yeah, so I think it's important to start with a hook that's going to resonate with the people who are watching it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, in the middle, you would want to deliver that content. And then you would want to end with a very clear call to action. You know, after you consume this content, where are you trying to direct traffic to? And so that's usually kind of my thought process that I go through when I'm creating a piece of content is to say to myself, okay, where is this content going to live? I think the platform is also super important. The way that you would talk to someone on LinkedIn may be different than the way you would talk to someone, uh, say, for instance, on YouTube. And so understanding the audience, understanding where the content needs to go, and then really formulating it in a way that resonates with the person you're specifically talking to. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's kind of my tips for that. When I start with that time limit and what I need to create in my business, I start to think back and say, okay, what's the best way to go from idea to a script? And then when it's time to create, that's when I would drop it into a teleprompter. Gotcha. And then like a Google doc, do you write it down in a notebook and then type it in like just the whole thing, just so that we can sort of see, do you outline it or do you just type straight into it and write the script out? Or are you a bullet point person? Yeah. So it depends on what I'm talking about. If it's something okay. that is, is super easy, top of mind, then bullet points works perfectly fine for me. Um, in other cases, I will specifically map it out maybe in a Google doc and then, then I can copy it over and I can also share it with other folks to get feedback. So that's, that's something that I would do in terms of that workflow. All right, great. So let's assume that you have something has come out of your head and in a Google Doc and you've got that copy pasted, then you put it into the teleprompter with Big View. So then what happens? Yeah. So I think what's really nice is, you know, you can do those test runs. And so you can make sure that like the pacing feels good, that it's not moving too fast. You can't keep up with it. You can change the size of the text. And so you can really kind of format the experience to to fit your needs in that specific instance. You know, you can also um, move the actual location of the window so that you look like you're talking way more to the person like this yeah. way um, yeah. versus looking down and reading this way as well. Um, one thing that I do want to say is a very easy hack when you're talking on the teleprompter. Even if your hands aren't visible, if you're a person that talks with your hands, having them underneath the view of the camera so that you can feel more comfortable and at ease, that's super important for you to do so that you don't look super stiff and that helps you to not look like you're reading. So I tend to let my hands move a little bit underneath of the view of the camera. And so that way I appear more natural on camera. So I'm so glad you said that. I have a tendency definitely to talk with my hands. And I actually like to sort of see them sometimes, like not crazy, you know, not like yeah. <laughs> here, but I sometimes like to see them 
So even I know that they're there. And so a little bit of that is okay, right? I mean, you can use it a little underneath and maybe just show a little bit in the view, but being able to feel comfortable on camera is kind of a, it's a, it's kind of a bit of an art to like do. Yeah, it definitely beautiful. is. And I think another, another little trick that not many people talk about is you can even, if you're super stressed out, you can literally have like a stress ball in your hand that you're squeezing while you read. And so it'll help your brain to actually focus more on that action than the stress of, you know, what you're doing in the moment. So that's just something that you can, you can leverage as a little hack to help yourself if you're feeling a little overwhelmed about having to be on camera. Well, Shonda, that's a great tip. That is a really good one. Uh, for those of you who are joining us, please feel free to put your questions in the chat, in the comments. Um, we had a question here from Joe's radio shows saying um, that he has a very low powered laptop and is he still able to use the teleprompter? And Bruno with Big View wrote, yeah, you can use it on Google Chrome. So I just wanted to share that. And it's, I mean, it's available, the Big View teleprompter, again, on your phone, as an app or then on your desktop. Okay, so what uh, what can you show us, LaShonda? I think you were gonna share your screen. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and screen share and I'll just show you guys what it looks like inside. Yeah. All right. Oh, look, there right. it is, yeah. So if you look inside of the teleprompter app within Big View, you have a few options before you get started. If you see on the right hand side, you can read and record, you can do read only, and you can live stream from the teleprompter app. Then on the left hand side, I have it popped up to show you uh, the AI writer. And so that's where you can utilize Big View to help you to modify some text that maybe you want to rewrite or to get some ideas. So what's really cool about the drop down is you have some options like, you know, your business profile. So say if you need some help with what it says like on LinkedIn. So they are giving you prompts within the AI writer as well for you to be able to create that content that would end up in your script itself. You can also change the length of time. You could say, you know, short, medium, long, and you can change the style, whether you want to be persuasive or neutral or friendly or professional, witty or marketing. And so what I think is really cool about the desktop app is it's so easy to navigate. You also have that word count and it shows you that duration again. And so you're able to really modify what you need directly in Big View and then immediately start to utilize it within the actual app. So if I were to go to read and record and share this tab instead, you can see where my scripts moves over to the teleprompter format. And so I have my options there. I have, you know, the time that it's taking me to actually do this. I have um, the scroll position. I can change the font size here and I can also change the speed. And so depending on what you're trying to say, you can actually change the speed within Big View so that you can, you know, speed up the script and get it in a shorter amount of time or you can slow it down. So I'm really loving it. I think it's a really cool tool for people to utilize if they have to um, do specific scripts for their business. Or another thing that we talked about um, was utilizing Big View as a way to help you to feel more comfortable when you're delivering a slide deck. So you could put it in mm -hmm. read only mode. And so you could have your script. And so you can actually navigate through that script while you're doing a presentation. So I think Wait, that that's- Wakanda, go back to that. Would you mind just going back to that again? So when yeah. it's in read only mode, that means it doesn't record and it just scrolls through the words. Is that right? And then- Yeah. Oh. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> That's wonderful. I'll be honest. I, I love the Big View app and I only really use it on the phone. I have actually not used it on the desktop. I guess just thinking that it wouldn't scroll in the same way as it does on my phone. But I just saw what you just showed us. And so it does. And it scrolls. Yeah, yeah. 
with it. It does, it does move the same way. And so mm -hmm. it allows you to be able to, you know, cycle through that script as you are um, recording within the app itself. And then you can modify it from there to create video content. That's amazing. And I have to say, shout out to Big View because it has been named product of the day on Product Hunt, which yes. is, no, is pretty huge. So if you're so inclined, anyone who's watching, feel free to go to Product Hunt and give it an upvote. Let's try and see if we can get it to be product of the week and product of the month or <laughs> whatever Product Hunt does. But uh, already it's made it to product of the day. And so Bruno has just put it in the link in the comments. So if you want to go ahead and upvote it, just click on that link and you can do so for Big View. Yeah, you can definitely go there and vote for it because I think it's, I think that platform allows people to hear about different feature rolls, rollouts mm -hmm. and different brands that maybe they wouldn't have um, known about otherwise. And so that's mm -hmm. just something that could be super helpful. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So the, that was, that's a great trick to use the read only mode as a script, if you will for presentation. So you have your presentation that takes up the big part of your screen, but then you have the read only part scrolling. So you have the words right there to your side. Yeah. Okay, great. What other tips do you have using the teleprompter, the desktop one? Yeah. So if we go back into, let's see here, I'll go back to sharing my screen. Okay. So say for instance, if I wanted to go in here mm -hmm. and I wanted to rewrite a paragraph. So say for instance, if I take this here and I just simply copy that and paste it here. So this is where you can leverage the AI tool. So if I wanted mm -hmm. it to be more of, you know, a news flash, I could type in different um, facts or topics of news I wanted to cover. Um, if I go back here, video for my blog, you have some options there um, where you can post the URL from your blog. And so you can turn that into a script with MBigView. So I would encourage you guys um, to click around here. So say for instance, if I wanted some expert tips, um, I could say, um, ways to save money in New York. Hmm. Let's see here. Let me go back here. I love it. I'll be honest because I don't use the desktop all that much. <laughs> uh, I haven't really used that uh, that often. Oh, and so Bruno is saying you can also oh, yes. use the space bar to pause the teleprompter and improvise. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. Uh, T TCD Marketing says, great platform. Love the AI writer. Sometimes it's hard to come up with content, but if I speak a few words, the AI generates the rest of the script. And then they go in and edit to their liking. I think that's wonderful. And I love seeing, LaShonda, how you're using it because it's giving us all ideas of how to use it, especially since I haven't really done it all that much. But it's really giving me some ideas of how you can use it kind of like an assistant, someone you can throw ideas back and forth with as you're putting together your script. Definitely. And I mean, I definitely think that that, that built-in AI feature is going to be super helpful for a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And Terry says, so we can do a presentation with a client while reading our script and the client won't see it. Exactly. <laughs> yes. They won't see it on, on their end for sure. Mm -hmm. Nope. Not at all. Not at all. And, you know, really, as you were saying earlier, using that script, it can be bullet, it can be bullet points just to to jog your memory as you're doing your presentation, whether it's to a client or to a, a Zoom room of, of whatever kinds of attendees, but having that capability to, um, to have kind of just a, a roadmap for what it is you want to say and how you want to say it. Um, Anne-Marie says, and LaShonda, maybe you can help. What kind of script do you suggest a life insurance, I'm going to say agent maybe, a life insurance agent use? 
Yeah. So I think a script for a life insurance agent would be to really talk about, you know, how you can benefit them in their life and their business, protecting the things that they love or that they um, care deeply about. And so um, if you wanted to to drop that into, um, let's see here, we'll do life insurance tips. Perfect. And so you're doing that in the AI writer, right? In the big view desktop. Yes. Okay. And I will go ahead and share this. Okay. Oops, we lost LaShonda. Or at least we lost her screen, maybe. LaShonda? Okay, we might have lost her. Bruno, are you there? Okay. I think we might have lost um, LaShonda for a moment. Sometimes, you know, this is live. Sometimes we have some connectivity issues. And, uh, and so... Um, LaShonda is going to share her screen when she rejoins us. And in the meantime, uh, Bruno, maybe you can hop on and we can take a look at the whiteboard feature. TCD Marketing was asking about sure. the whiteboard. Yes. What is that? <laughs> hey, guys. How are you? So about the whiteboard feature is basically a draft where you can put all your ideas. For example, you're thinking about how to grow a that. business using TikTok. Leave yeah. all the ideas there for the script. Then you go back use those ideas using the AI. So it's a place that you leave all the ideas that you have before creating the script. This okay. is the whiteboard on the web version. Okay. So okay, are you sharing, cool. yeah. Are you sharing the screen to show us what that is or? I am not, but I could. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. and it looks like we have is... LaShonda's screen. Oh, LaShonda's back? Oh, this is LaShonda's screen, I gotcha. Okay, so she has already started the life insurance tips on the left. Uh -huh. but... She's back, so let me go oh, to the background. Back. Okay, great. <laughs> hey, LaShonda, welcome hey, back. Hey, hey. <laughs> so you can see the different options that are available here under results. And so going back to um, that life insurance script, you've got three different options here. And so you're able to, to click on that there and then copy it over to start your script on the right-hand side, which is really nice. So you have your mm -hmm. add to script button. You can also add it to that whiteboard that Bruno was, was talking about. So okay. the whiteboard is a great place for you to brainstorm directly in Big View. And so, um, yeah, here's some options. So when I was able to put in just life insurance there, then you're able to see the results show up underneath here. Hey, where, LaShonda, where is the whiteboard itself? Is it, a, is it the one, is it for any script that you make? And so all your notes are there or is it per script? There's a whiteboard. So within the project itself, I'm able to put like a headline of text. So if I were to say here, um, practice space, um, here's some ideas. And then I can save it there. So it, within oh, this within this project, I'm able to do that here. Okay, that's great. I have a question yeah. here from Dudley. So what is the tip for setting the camera in the desktop view so that it appears you're looking into the camera and not looking at the script window? Yeah, so I can actually just go ahead and show you if we go over here. Okay. To share this tab instead. Oh, so if you see, mm -hmm. as I move this around. Yeah. It's moving the letters as it's reorienting for me. You see? Right. Right. So where are your eyes? Your eyes are looking into where the, the big view app thinks the camera is. Yes. So my eyes are looking right at the top of it. Okay. And that's where the camera is. And so it will yes. move up. So will you, will you press play, uh, record? Would you mind LaShonda? So press record and I guess start reading. <laughs> 
So we'll see your eyes. You can see how it scrolls here. If you want to increase your confidence on camera and reduce the amount of take, time it takes to film, you can use a teleprompter and I'll show you how to get one for free. So you can see it here as it's scrolling through. Mm -hmm. And so I'm able to hit stop there. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Um, let's see. Oh, and Ditch the Dogma with Paula Marie Davis says uh, they integrated the desktop teleprompter for her first YouTube with help from you. So yay, congratulations. Um, RS has a question. On the iPhone app or on the phone app, is there a way to stop the recording automatically? Is there a way to stop the recording automatically as you're going yeah. through? Yeah, like I guess maybe after the last word, maybe not. Um, I don't think there is. Maybe Bruno can um, can also respond, but I don't think so. Um, oh, actually, Bruno says there is an auto stop in the app. Um, in the app on the phone. Yeah. So the question, second question is, um, he uses ring lights and it seems the recordings are washed out. So, so when you're using a ring light, I mean, what you can do is you can add a diffusion to the ring light, which really helps mm -hmm. so that it doesn't appear washed out on camera. So that's that's a, t a different hack that you can use with the actual equipment itself. Um, you can actually cover cover the light that will help. Um, you can also um, increase the light behind you and that'll help balance it out as well. Very cool. And then what type of microphone do you use? So right now I'm using a Rode microphone. Um, I believe you have a Yeti, Cheryl, is that correct? Mm -hmm. I have a Yeti. Yep. I have a Yeti. You have a Rode microphone. Very cool. Mm -hmm. uh, mine is a USB mic. And I think yours is too. That one is as well. Uh, yeah. It plugs into like an interface on my computer. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, Ditch the Dogma saying they're using the AI script writer to create the first signature talk. It's awesome. Blowing your mind. Oh, I love that. Yeah, isn't that great? Um, and Pamela wants to see more of that script, <laughs> the one that you created. <laughs> you might have oh, to do the that video. <laughs> yeah, maybe, or maybe the other one, both of them. They might want to see you perform that script, LaShonda. Uh, let's see. Um, what about a remote? So maybe um, maybe what Ditch the Dogma is asking about is how that happens. Is that is the remote needed in order to stop the recording or start the recording? I know with starting the recording, you don't need that. You just click the button and then the yeah, you click goes. the button and it and it's it counts down for you. Yeah, right. And then um, a remote for I guess the the process for ending the recording. What is that process? Do you know that, Lashonda? I think, yeah. oh, without, like, like automatically, I guess. In terms of ending the, the recording mm -hmm. automatically? Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Um, the remote control, let's see here. The remote can be used to pause the teleprompter. Mm -hmm. And unpause it as well. Cool. Yes. That's from the And so once you pause it, then you can turn it off. So LaShonda, I would love to hear uh, what it's like as you work with clients who maybe come in not feeling so comfortable using, well, not comfortable on video, first of all, but then realizing that something like a teleprompter can help them frame their ideas, can help them come up with talking points and then help them kind of see the talking points so they don't have to remember them right away. What is it like to see that confidence grow? What is that like? Yeah, I think a lot of folks when they start out, you know, they they want to be able to communicate through video, um, but they're feeling a little stressed out about what to say. And so helping them to kind of cultivate not only what they're saying, but just how they want to be portrayed on camera as they're doing it. So, mm -hmm. you know, do you want to be energetic? You know, do you want to be funny with it? Do you want to connect with the heartstrings? I think that that is something that I help people to discover as they're creating their content. And then that is portrayed in how they actually end up seeing themselves in the finished product. So it's it's a fun fun part of the journey to help people to cultivate their messaging. So yeah, thank you for asking that. So much fun, I know. And I know some of the things you wanted to talk about today is regarding time. 
so many people, I know you get this, I get this as well. And I feel this as well. Creating videos sometimes takes a lot of time or it feels like it takes so much time. How can the use of something like this save time? And I know for, for some folks who, who maybe just haven't created a lot of video, it all feels like hours and hours and hours. But in your experience, as you've worked with people to help them use maybe a teleprompter or other things, stories to help them create videos, how will a teleprompter help them with the time saving aspect of creation? So with Big View, it definitely helps with the scripting side of it to help you to, you know, not have to start with the blank page. And then I think from there, it's people don't understand the longevity that you have to have in order to be able to deliver a longer form piece of content. You know, when you're talking off the cuff after a while, you know, you start to wane, you start to feel like, oh my gosh, like, how am I going to get through this? Having a tel teleprompter also helps you to be able to, to pause and to go back and say, okay, maybe I don't need to say the whole thing all over again. Maybe I can just redo this one section. And so I think that that's a really beneficial way to help people to save time because they don't have to think about keeping it all in their head. And so when I talk about leveraging tech, what I'm really trying to encourage people to do is to think about, you know, what is something that I can utilize an app to do better? And so if Big View is, you know, the place to go for scripting, well, then let me go over to Big View and leverage that tool and stop trying to do it all in my head on my own. So I think that is definitely something that'll help you. And again, like you've got a lot of built in features within Big View that are going to help you to actually create that finished piece of content. Great. Let's learn more about those things. Do you have anything else you'd like to share with us? Yeah, so let's see here. If we go back, and did we have any other questions down there in the comments? Um, I think um, Anna was asking about going over a signature talk. Maybe if we have a little bit of time. Oh, that's <laughs> so funny. Signature talk. That's kind of a different subject, but I can see how when we're talking about putting together a script, you can craft that talk in the Big View app on the whiteboard, think about your ideas, and then actually in the same place, carry out that script and perform it and then have it right there ready to go. So maybe in the, maybe in a little bit, we can, <laughs> we can talk about a signature talk, but let's see what the actual um, parameters are, right? The, um, the tool itself, what options and abilities the, the app has to help people, <laughs> the desktop app. <laughs> I love it. It's so good though, because it's getting everyone thinking. Like it's Oh, it definitely is. Thinking about, right, about the, the scripting opportunities. And uh, Pamela, I agree. Pamela says AI help is a big topic right now. And, you know, I want to say that, uh, I don't know about how you're seeing it with you and the clients that you work with. I mean, AI to me is, is a help. It's not the, it definitely is not the thing that is doing the work. It's it's a compliment, if you will. So yeah, I think I think it's a way to to try to shorten the amount of mundane tasks that we have to do, and it gives you again that starting point to not have to go from scratch. Yeah, I agree. I agree, and I think that's where we do come in our our expertise, whatever it is, whether it's life insurance or real estate. It's to be able to go to AI and say, okay, give me some ideas for these kinds of topics. And then the AI will spit it out and you kind of go in and you, you use your strategic learning from all the things that you've done and, and create a script and a plan from that. But it helps. It absolutely helps. I love seeing the ideas that are coming from it. Um, okay. Yes. Um, Pam agrees too. Yes. Thinks that it can help a lot as uh, some people have a hard time starting just the starting part. For sure. <laughs> All right, cool. What is this that you're showing us? So um, I wanted to put in something about a news flash here, because I think oftentimes, you know, you find yourself just needed to say something super short. And so um, what I didn't show you guys was how I can immediately change how it comes across. So I utilize the AI to get me started. 
but then I'm able to change the tone here. And so I think that that's super helpful. So if I were um, to change it to witty and write something new. So what happens is that cute little AI bot is going to help me to create that perfect text. And so um, even down here at the end, it's like, you know, stay dry out there, folks, and I'll keep you, I'll catch you on the flip side with more weather. <laughs> So I think it's I think it's actually a lot of fun to be able to leverage the AI tool within the teleprompter app to help you to get some ideas and you can kind of mix and match. And so I think that's something fun. If I were to add all these to the script over here, then I'm able to modify things on this end and kind of move things around. So, you know. I think that a lot of people can, you know, utilize things like, oh, it's hotter than a jalapeno pepper. <laughs> like, you know, maybe you wouldn't have thought of that before. And so you can incorporate, you know, your humor, your perspective when you're creating your scripts in Big View. And then you can hop into uh, recording it for whatever medium that you need it on and even um, edit it directly in the app itself, too, which is pretty fun. So, yeah, just wanted to show you guys that, that you can change, you know, the tone of what you're saying coming mm -hmm. out of that AI writer as well. Right. It doesn't have to be their tone. It can be your tone that you modify with some of their ideas. I want to go to um, another topic and we, we touched on it just a bit, uh, just a little bit earlier about how it's still video and people uh, in some cases just still don't feel comfortable. Maybe they have the ideas now and they have the script or bullet points through big view, but feeling comfortable on camera is another hurdle. So um, you mentioned the stress ball, which I loved. I think that's a great idea, especially having that stress ball, like, like if it was like right here and I was like, <laughs> it'd be like right under the camera, no one needs to know kind of thing. What other tips and tricks and best practices do you have to help someone who again, the, the script is written, the bullet points are there, all the pieces are there, but just that person is just not quite feeling 100%. What are some things that, that you've done to help your clients? Yeah. So I think your environment affects a lot, you know, being able to have an environment that you feel comfortable in that is, you know, full of items that you love, you know, like um, I talk a lot about how I specifically set up my office. And so mm -hmm. I think that filming in here is really comforting. And so it may be more stressful to be in a different environment, but utilizing, you know, big view on my laptop allows me to maybe change the angle around and, and move things around to be able to record the scripts in an environment that puts me at ease. And so I think sometimes, you know, if you're in a loud environment, if you've got a lot of things going on around you, that can just add to the stress that it takes to create your content. And so I think environment plays a huge part. And so I'm really grateful to have, you know, like a quiet place where I can, you know, do my scripts and I can record the videos that I need in order to put that content out online. Man, I'm so glad you said that because sometimes and I, I work with clients too, and, and sometimes they don't really have a space necessarily. And it's kind of like, well, when no one is in this office, I'll use this home office to shoot videos. Or if no one's in this office at work, I'll use this office to shoot videos. And they don't really, they're not so comfortable, but you in, in your office, you've got a beautiful background. The lighting is great. You probably know where you sit, exactly where you sit and everything is fabulous and you don't need to worry about it. And it's just one less thing to worry about. So having that one place that you know you can go to where the lighting is good and the, the you know, where the camera and the laptop is, is, is good, helps to make you feel comfortable to say the words that need to come out of your mouth. So I love that. I love that. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, I, I hope that helps a lot of people. And I, I think another thing that, you know, maybe your space is not really picturesque. And so I think that, you know, what I've seen a lot of people do is they'll, they'll leverage, you know, pop-ups, they'll leverage backgrounds, they'll leverage, you know, editing tools to be able to replace your backgrounds. And so I think that tech is making it a lot easier for people to feel comfortable with the end result of how they're putting themselves out on the internet. Mm -hmm. This has been such a good conversation. If anyone has any last minute questions, this is your last chance, please 
put them in the comments, put them in the chat, and we'll make sure that LaShonda sees them to be able to answer those questions. In the meantime, I know you wanted to share, and we're not saying goodbye yet, but I know you wanted to share a giveaway with our audience. So what do you have for us? Yeah, so I think a, a lot of people are interested in utilizing YouTube to grow their business online. And so I have a YouTube passive income guide that um, I make available to folks that they can um, download and they can learn all sorts of techniques about how they can generate passive income using that platform to help grow their business or increase awareness about what they're doing online. So hopefully that resource is beneficial to everyone. And um, yeah, the link has just been uh, posted in the chat for you guys to take advantage of that. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, awesome. I think that's a wonderful opportunity. And the link is in the comments. Sign up there. What, what are some of your greatest takeaways from learning this skill? Using a teleprompter, I think, is definitely a skill. And it's, I imagine, has helped you in your video creation efforts, especially with your YouTube channel, your very successful YouTube channel. Um, what are your takeaways in, in learning this skill that has helped you um, with your career? Yeah, I think the biggest thing is that you just get better by doing it. You know, it's like a muscle. Um, I think that's the other benefit of using something like Big View because once you finish, you know, it can say like, hey, do you want to do another take? And so I think it takes that pressure off of you to feel like, okay, the first time out of the gate has to be perfect. The more that you utilize it, the more that you um, take take that technology into just your content creation process and say, okay, you know, I want to make sure that I strengthen this muscle as time goes on. So I'm going to try, you know, shorter videos, and then I'm going to expand to longer ones. And eventually I'll be able to go live. I think that's a huge benefit to just putting yourself out there and giving it a try. So I, I hope that people see the ease of using big view and it takes a lot of the pressure off of them. And then over time they'll find themselves, you know, needing less and less mm -hmm. in terms of, you know, the process of, of getting, getting up to utilizing that. I love that. And you know, it's funny. My big view does not ask me to do another video. <laughs> oh, that's so why, it's not. why is mine not? Anyway, it is okay. <laughs> I love that's that. You hysterical. <laughs> I love. What yeah, you're yeah. I think it'll ask it'll ask you if you want to do um, another take. I'm curious if I if I do it here. That is so funny. I'm going to try that next, and I'm going to ask Bruno about that if it doesn't tell me to uh, or ask me to do another video. Um, and so TCD Marketing is asking: Are you using Big View for the live, or are you using YouTube with Big View Color Scheme? So. We're having a conversation. I don't think you're using, um, you're not using a teleprompter right now, LaShonda. I'm not, but this is just a conversation. And I think to your point is after using a teleprompter, having a conversation on video is just so much easier. It definitely is it, for it sure. It builds that skill. Like it just builds mm -hmm. that. So um, if there are no questions, maybe you'd like to share some takeaways. If anyone has any takeaways to share, I'd love to hear them. Ditch the Dogma saying, LaShonda taught me to just keep creating so I can bury those learning videos eventually with a flood of content where I show up authentically and comfortably sharing a message that's important to me. I love that. Good job, LaShonda. <laughs> any other takeaways? Thank you. Thank you. Feel free to share them. LaShonda has really shared some amazing things. That stress ball one that you said earlier, I'll, <laughs> I'll definitely be remembering that. It's something I'll be talking about just because people do get so nervous. And um, it's one thing to say, oh, don't be nervous. But it's another to give a tactical, here's what you can do. And that's a, here's what you can do. That's for sure. Pamela says Definitely. that's awesome. Yeah, that's really good. Any other takeaways before uh, we let you go? Um, LaShonda, again, please share your, um, your giveaway and how people can reach you, please. Yeah. So you can find me at uh, LaShondaBrown.com. You can also find me on Bootstrap Biz Device on YouTube if you'd like to stay connected.
That's wonderful, wonderful. And how often do you uh, create and publish YouTube videos on your channel? Yeah, so I will go live fairly often. Um, I try to do that like once a week. And then I create a feed videos based on different topics that I want to share. So you'll see a lot of content on there on those two types of forms on YouTube. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. It's always great talking with you and are always great learning from our experts and, and talking with you has been really wonderful. If anyone wants to reach out to me, I offer free video audits and feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn and we can have a conversation about how that might help you as you are creating videos for what you're trying to accomplish. LaShonda, it has been a pleasure, a pleasure talking with you. Any last takeaways before we say goodbye this afternoon? just want to say thank you guys for having me and definitely, you know, check out that teleprompter and give it a try. Yes, definitely, definitely. And uh, before I forget that uh, Product Hunt is featuring Big View. Yes, go vote for Big View. Vote go for Big up View. Vote. Yep. Click up vote. And there's a link. There's a couple of links in the chat here. Uh, if you go to Product product hunt. You'll see big view. It made product of the day. Let's try and get it to product of the week. And one last question from Charmaine. How do you go live using big view? So we're not going live using big view. This is just a, um, a graphic, would you say? It's probably just a graphic with the big view yes. logo in it. Um, but And Pamela says, definitely worth my time. Thank you. So thank you to you, LaShonda, and to you, Bruno, for handling the behind the scenes magic of this live presentation. We thank you all for uh, joining us today and we hope to see you for our next workshop. Take care, everybody. Thanks. Bye. You can own any room you walk into and instantly show up as the leader in your space. Hi, I'm Cheryl Tan. I'm a former TV news anchor turned entrepreneur and I love working with leaders to help them develop three pillars of communication success messaging, presentation, and strategy. Does this sound like you? You aren't sure how to look professional on stage or on camera, and that impacts how confident you feel showing up at all. You don't know how to describe what you do simply and clearly. You are most certainly an expert in your industry, but you haven't figured out yet how to explain that better. And finally, you don't have a presence anywhere, or at least an online presence you're proud of, which means you need to figure out how you want to show up and what you need to do to create that platform. My custom plan focuses on your message, your presentation, and your strategy. Once those three things are working for you, you will get noticed by the right people and opportunities. The best way to see if we're a fit is to have a conversation. Go to CherylTanMedia.com slash consultation to book a call. I can't wait to hear your story. teleprompter create videos you're proud of easily trim your video by selecting the words where you want to start and end color your presentation with automatic subtitles and highlighting keywords add your brand logo add music for an emotional touch add your contact info on an animated business card on all your videos easily replace green screen with an image or a video loop stand out with a web page with your logo your video at the center and personalized button for visitors to interact it's one tap to simultaneously upload your videos on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Always know what to say next with the Big View teleprompter.